The following problem can be found in this book on the notation to the right. Hello everybody, I'm Anthony and today we'll be talking about this problem. So the problem states, a rescue plane wants to drop supplies to isolated mountain climbers on a rocky ridge 235 meters below. If the plane is traveling horizontally with a speed of 250 kilometers per hour or 69.4 meters per second, how far in advance of the recipient's horizontal distance must the goods be dropped? So pretty much, the plane has some goods and we are going to be dropping them. But since the plane is moving, the goods don't just drop like that. They're going to be dropping like that. And we have to find the X at which we're going to drop the goods so that they land right on the mountain climbers. Well, not right on top of them just write on them so that they could get them. Let's erase that. Get back to the problem. So here we have some kinematic the kinematic equations. First thing we want to do is find time. So actually first let's write out our box so that that tells us all our information. Okay so we have the x side. Oh that's too big. Let me zoom in. We have the x side. and we have the y side. First thing let's do initial placement of x is called zero. Initial place of y is also zero. x we don't know that's what we're trying to find and y final y is negative three I mean 235 meters down it's negative because it's going down. Let's find the velocities. Initial velocity in the x direction is 69.4 meters per second. I ran out of the room so I didn't write meters per second. And the final velocity in the x direction is the same thing. 69.4 meters per second. Uh, the initial velocity in the y direction is nothing because the box is dropped. It wasn't it wasn't shoved out at an angle or anything. It was just dropped out of the airplane. And also, the final velocity of y is zero because it touched the ground. Uh, next is the acceleration. Acceleration in the x direction is uh, there's no acceleration because it was constant velocity and acceleration in the right direction is usually always negative 9.80 meters per second squared because of gravity and the last one we need is time now that we drew out all our information that's what it looks like now the first thing I wanted, I'm going to do is find time since I don't have all the information on the x side I'm going to use the y side to find time I'm going to use the second equation here. So let's write it out for y. y final is equal to y initial. Am I going to have enough space to write this? Yes, I am. y initial, sorry, that's ugly, o, oh, zero, y initial, plus initial velocity in the right direction times time, plus one half acceleration in the right direction t squared now we know that the final the final let me zoom in we know that the final y is going to be 2 3 5 meters initial y is 0 initial velocity is 0 so that t is just going to die minus 9.8 times 1 half is 4.90 meters per second squared times time squared. So we arrange that, and then we'll have t squared is equal to negative 235 over negative 4.90. And that comes out to time is 6.93. 
three seconds. We'll keep that information because now that we know the time, there's only one variable left, which is this x. Now we're going to use the second equation again, but this time for x, in order to find final x. So, it's just drawn in a different color, so that we don't get confused here. x is equal to x initial plus initial velocity in the x direction times time plus one half sorry, one half the initial no not initial one half acceleration in the x direction times time squared x is we don't know that's what we're looking for x initial is zero initial velocity of x is six point uh, six nine point four meters per second and we concluded that time is six point nine three seconds and well there's no acceleration in the a there's no acceleration in the x direction so it's nothing now so x is six point four times 6.93 I'm sorry 69.4 times 6.93 if we type that into our calculator here we get x to be 4 8 1 I rounded it to 3 significant figures because yeah that's what we were given so the final answer is x is 481 meters so, and that's how far away they have to drop the supplies in order to get it to the mountain climbers. Thank you for watching. That's all.